Hi, I'm Joe Navarro. Welcome back. Uh, continuing now with love signals and the body language of love. Once we're within a very close proximity, and I'm talking uh, less than a meter, less than three feet, uh, then several things begin to, to happen. Um, at this point, um, the, the voices uh, begin to change. Obviously, we don't want the whole world to, to hear what we're talking about. Uh, how frequently we look at, at each other changes. Our chemistry changes because our heart rate um, often increases and uh, we may feel the, uh, the temperature, our own temperature increasing as we uh, get in close proximity. And of course, there's always the opportunity to touch hands and, and so forth. So um, by becoming closer uh, in distance to the other person, we're also communicating that we are, in essence, trusting them. Uh, then you begin to see things that uh, are actually quite powerful. Um, we've already talked about pupil dilation. That will certainly remain. You'll see more uh, relaxation of the face. You'll see more uh, smiling. Uh, you'll see uh, more laughter. Uh, you often see this in dating situations where each partner is sort of laughing at anything that is, uh, that, that is said. Uh, but very powerfully, you'll begin to see more head tilt where literally we're exposing the neck. Um, in dating and courtship and uh, around the world, this is huge uh, because we only expose our necks around individuals that we feel comfortable with and uh, we can relax around and we can trust. And this is a, a sublim subliminal message that's being sent that says, I'm really comfortable uh, uh, with you. And uh, so we look for that as an indicator that uh, uh, things are, are going well. If you're sitting at a table, um, one of the things you'll see is uh, uh, object touching that mirrors each other. So uh, uh, maybe one person uh, reaches for the uh, glass of wine, the other one reaches for the glass of wine, and they're touching the, the glass of wine at the same time or uh, they're playing, uh, playing around with um, uh, the salt shaker and so forth. And, uh, and there's a lot of object uh, touching. And this is uh, one way of settling down because both are nervous and by touching objects, stroking objects and, and so forth, um, this sends signals to the brain that um, uh, uh, releases uh, additional oxytocin, additional chemicals that help to uh, uh, take us from a nervous state to a less uh, nervous state or what is called the parasympathetic uh, uh, system. You know, I'm often uh, uh, told that uh, when we first met or when we started first uh, dating that uh, I felt uh, butterflies uh, in my stomach uh, or, you know, you get this uh, queasy feeling or there's this uh, uh, feelings of elation that uh, surround the, the stomach or even the, literally the heart. Um, let me shed some light on that. Um, we have to go to uh, neuroanatomy. Your vagal nerves, and there's two of them, they're parallel, they descend down bilaterally, um, come down, go through your throat, so you may feel a little tension there. Uh, they innervate uh, the heart, they innervate uh, the lungs, uh, they innervate uh, the stomach and uh, all the way down to uh, your intestines. What most people don't understand is that that vagus nerve, which is the largest in the body, is sending information from the brain down and from the stomach and other areas up. 
constantly sending messages. Your stomach is full of neurons. Um, the same neurons, by the way, that you have in your brain. Uh, those neurons communicate uh, in, in both directions uh, saying, hey, that, you know, this is really uh, uh, causing me to be nervous and so forth. And don't be surprised when your heart rate increases. That's also governed uh, in part by the vagus uh, uh, nerve. And don't be surprised if you're breathing more uh, rapidly and if you have those butterfly feelings. That is all part of uh, what now is referred to as the polyvagal um, complex where everything is interconnected and you truly have those feelings in your stomach. Uh, don't disregard those. Those are giving you powerful messages uh, that what you're feeling at that moment is uh, truly uh, special. Uh, biologically, other things will be happening. Um, blood will come to the surface of the skin. Uh, you may feel warmer. Your lips uh, will become fuller. Um, you don't need the blood in your muscles, your large muscles, to run or, or uh, flight or fight. Uh, and so the vascular system opens up and you may uh, feel your, your lips uh, feel fuller. They, in fact, will be fuller. Uh, they'll certainly uh, be warmer. Um, one of the positive signs is this uh, vascular uh, vasodilation. Uh, there may be flushing of the skin, flushing of the, uh, uh, the, um, the skin around the ears, the neck, and uh, obviously the, uh, uh, the lips. Um, there may be some uh, playful teasing where uh, there's uh, a lot of lowered chin uh, uh, joined with uh, looking askance and, uh, and so forth. Um, there may be some shoulder shrugs. Uh, David Givens talks about how we use the shoulders, uh, which on most, most people is a very large area compared to other parts of the body that get our attention and are uh, very attractive, uh, if not uh, seductive, in fact. And that's why uh, we see them often in, uh, in fashion magazines. So the movement of the, uh, the shoulders, the touching of the shoulders and so forth, that's uh, part and parcel uh, uh, of it. Um, you'll uh, probably throughout uh, uh, the encounter, uh, see more hair touching, uh, both men and women who have long hair, uh, there'll be more hair touching and so forth. A couple of things are happening there. The first is that uh, any movement um, uh, initiates the orientation reflex, so that gets our attention. And then, of course, touching of the hair um, is a pacifier. Uh, and it's, uh, it also causes a, a, attraction. Um, and so you'll see an inc increase of that. You'll see an increase in, in grooming. Uh, even guys wearing T-shirts, you'll see them pulling up their T-shirts, uh, fixing their T-shirts and, and so forth. Uh, that's all part of the, uh, of the process. Um, there may be an increase in, uh, in blink rate, uh, that sometimes uh, happens or, uh, you know, as in years past, you know, you would see people at the theater and somebody would put their arm around the other person or uh, while they're driving in a car, just uh, uh, accidentally at first touch hands uh, and, uh, and then later uh, holding hands in full. And the description that uh, people often say that uh, this, the first touch was magical. Uh, has to do with the fact that um, the brain has been uh, uh, on, on notice <laughs> that you're letting somebody close and now finally there's that uh, the touch um, and that manifestation is uh, is truly chemical the the uh, the hormones flow through the body and register as something really powerful and uh, 
and, uh, and dynamic uh, because there has been that hesitation, because you've let somebody into that magical space called uh, your, uh, your intimate uh, uh, zone. But uh, around the world, we, we see so much uh, similarities in, uh, in, uh, in these behaviors. Um, and, uh, and it's a reminder that here, one of the most important things in our lives, mate selection, um, is really based on nonverbal communications. It's based on how we uh, visually are impacted by an individual. It's based on how we feel when we're around them. It's based on the chemistry of uh, how they smell, their pheromones, uh, how they feel, um, and, uh, and so forth. And lastly, um, there's uh, you know, what we do with our voices, that um, how we engage each other especially in this closer space when we're down to that uh, 18 inches or less, now our voices change. Um, we tend to lower our voices and we tend to um, even change how we talk to each other so that uh, in essence, uh, we become uh, more impressive um, in, uh, in this area of, uh, of, of intimacy. So um, there's my answer to all the questions that I've gotten uh, in the last six months about dating and, uh, and, and so forth, uh, and love signals and the, the language of, uh, of romance. I, I hope you'll enjoy it. You've enjoyed it. Please check out David Given's book. Uh, he's been a great friend and a mentor uh, for many years, and his uh, writing is, is just wonderful. Don't forget, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, I look forward to, uh, to seeing you uh, here soon.